Let's solve a 1980 integral from the Putnam exam problem, where we will evaluate the following integral, which is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the function 1 over 1 plus tangent x to the power of square root of 2. And we will integrate this function with respect to dx. So usually when you solve Putnam exam integral, usually the integrals have many tricks to use. And in this problem, we will use a trick which is sometimes referred to as the king's property but it is actually just a change of variable which says that the integral from a to b of f of x with respect to dx is equal to the integral from a to b of f where we change x into a plus b minus x times by dx okay so let's actually quickly prove this so for the proof here we will let u to be equal to a plus b minus x so you have that du is equal to negative dx. So we have our original integral, which is a to b, f of x times by dx. It will become the integral, well, the limits of integration when x is equal to a, you will find that this is equal to b, and when x is equal to b, it is equal to a. So we have that this f of, well, the x variable here, you can see that x is equal to a plus b minus u so this will become a plus b minus u and we will have negative du so now this negative here we can make it to interchange the order of integration so we will have a to b f of a plus b minus u with respect to du so now here i will notice that this u here is actually just a dummy variable so we can actually change this into dx and the variable u to x so now this proves this property and to use this property i will first let this integral to be equal to i so we will actually find out that 2i over here we shall write as the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus the tangent x to the power of square root of 2 times by dx and, we'll, and I will copy the same thing over here which is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 1 plus tangent x to the square root of 2 dx and then for the second part over here I will actually utilize this property here so this is 0 to pi over 2 of 1 over 1 plus instead of tangent x we will have tangent of pi over 2 minus x and the whole thing to the power of square root of 2 times by dx and the first part here I write it the same thing over here which is this function over here so now by observing at the second part over here I will actually use a well-known identity which is that the tangent of pi over 2 minus x is equal to 1 over tangent x or you can say it is the cotangent x so realizing this fact you have that this whole thing is well the first part I will just copy down the same thing so this is this and then for the second part over here what we will notice is that we will have this whole thing here is 1 plus 1 over tangent x to the square root of 2 dx and now let's multiply the top and bottom by tangent x to the power of square root of 2 so the whole thing we shall rewrite the whole thing here this is equal to tangent x to the square root of 2 over the same denominator which is 1 plus tangent x to the square root of 2 so magically we see that when we add up these two integrands since the limits of integration is the same we see that the integrand is actually 1 plus tangent x to the square root of 2 over 1 plus tangent x to the square root of 2 times by dx and now we see that this whole thing is essentially just 1 so when we integrate 1 with respect to dx and from 0 to pi over 2 this whole thing is just pi over 2 
So this means that 2i is equal to pi over 2. And so i is just pi over 4. And moreover, you can also notice that this square root of 2 over here, you can actually change it into alpha, where alpha is just a real number. And by using any real number over here, you get the same answer. So therefore, we are done for this problem. If you want to check out more interesting integral, then remember to check out this video over here.